Romeo Lavia. I felt all a mirage for the Belgian wonder kid. 19 years old, one of the best DMs in the Premier League last season. There's a huge, huge talent in here on this very, very special player. But we are about to start a war between Liverpool and Arsenal for the wonder kid from Belgium. Who's going to win this race? Liverpool or Arsenal? We find out very soon. According to Fabrizio Romano, we haven't had yet. And here we go. Liverpool is very, very interesting. Same with Arsenal. On this video, myself, as usually, my special guest, Liverpool fan as well. So, nothing better than having a Liverpool fan on this video. And, um, yeah, Liverpool looks like it's going to go hard. Southampton is asking at least 50 million, 5 0. And Arsenal just waiting to see what's going to happen with Thomas Party. But yeah, there's interest between uh, from Liverpool and Arsenal. Who's winning this race? Let's see how they're meant to. Hey, I'm going to slag Arsenal fans off, so don't get rattled, Arsenal fans. So get ready. If you think you're more attractive than Liverpool, you just go to the doctors because you're not. You're really not. One bad year season off where we're not attractive than Arsenal. I know Arsenal have a better future, of course. Maybe Arsenal have a better future. And I can't dispute, obviously. That would be Brighton, Arsenal, sorry. Have the Sackers and one at least. If you're looking for trophies right now and the manager, you're choosing Liverpool, guys. Let's be honest here, guys. Lavia. I just I think, th um, sorry, my brother. I just think if you're looking for anything, you know, atmosphere, yeah. bigger club, trophies, everything. I don't think Arsenal should ever compare, any Arsenal fans should ever compare their club with a club like Liverpool. Liverpool is up there, top four, five, one of the greatest clubs of all time. Liverpool. Yeah is too big for Arsenal. Arsenal becomes a small thing if they compare to Liverpool. Man, but I'm yeah, not, I'll let you finish. The mad thing is, and people say, oh, you got Europa League. The fact that we're only four points off the Europa League, of Champions League, actually. We're only four points off the Europa League, of Champions League. I, I don't know how, but that's just, that just in our worst year. So, Lavia on the player. Just wanted to answer Arsenal there for a sec. On the player, look. I think we're cooking something. We're, we're cooking, well, I don't know, we're cooking some in midfield because our midfield is going to be sick next season. Right? If we get Lavia, listen, I okay, Lavia or Turan because I think the third, I personally, I'm basing it on right now, I do think, it depends on Thiago leaves. If Thiago leaves, I think we're getting both, Turan and La Lavia. If Thiago stays, which I do think ha will probably happen, we get one of them. So if I had to choose between one or the other, Lavia or Turam, that's hard. But I might just edge Lavia because of the fact that Premier League experience and look, his body's for the Premier League. It's not like he he just come out of nowhere. He's playing in the South Southampton side and he actually dominated the Arsenal midfield on that day when they drew three three. He played very well in that game. Um, and he's been the shining light for Southampton really. If you actually base it, like, he was the best player by far last season. Yeah. And people say Ward Prowse, but like, come on, Ward Prowse is a freaking merchant. That's all he mm. can do. Do you know, so, um, I, I was mentioning to you just before we start recording this video that, <coughs> sorry, I was talking to one of um, one of my good friends that is a Sultanton season ticket. And he said, it's just unreal. Watching this kid playing live is unbelievable. Obviously, we watch, it's different when you watch, when you're at home and watch um, in Italy. And when you're live and watching, I mean, this kid, I, I, from what I've seen, we've watched plenty of Southampton last season. What a talent. Uh, he's, yeah. I think he's only 19 years old as well. You think really what, 19 years old? I'm not I'm sure not if his passport is right. I'm not sure if he's actually aged on his passport is correct. I'm not sure. I don't want to, you know, I, 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 look, much details. But you know what? Getting, I'm going to say this right now. Getting Europa League, I'm not saying it was good. Maybe Europa League is fine, bad for us. Because Lavia, for me, if we had him in the Champions League, he would probably get destroyed. I would play him in the Europa League games, maybe some Premier League games, because 
I'm not as into Fabinho as Liverpool fans are. Another discussion for another day. But it's a good cover for Fabinho because Fabinho, let's be honest, he's been poor for the last season. Like, last season's horrendous. And he would bring a competition for Fabinho. He would really bring competition. And he's ever like, like he's, he's played so well at 19. Imagine him in his prime. Like, imagine that. And I, look, he's a, he's, a, he's a midfielder that can last 10 years. He can, he can save you. He can get you 10 years. Like, 10 years. The next 10 years, he's your future midfielder. Like, he is going to be your future. And look, yeah. the plan he's been making, I'm really happy with right now. So, Bosch, like, coming in. McAllis has come in. And uh, Lavia, I I think that's some, if we get three, if we get Lavia, McAllister, and Trump, um, Lavia, uh, Shaboshla, and McAllister, that's an eight out of ten midfielder for Rebirth for me. If it's if it's Toram as well, ten. But I, I think we get three. I think personally, I don't think we get all four. And I think four because I think we go for a centre back. I think we will need that centre back. I'm, I hope we get centre back. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's According all. to some reports, obviously, um, Arsenal's waiting to see what's going to happen with Thomas Party. But then, obviously, signing the price they paid for Kai Havers and obviously that Declan Rice as well. I don't know. I just think Arsenal, as usually, they, they love bottle. So, I think they're yeah. just going to bottle this because and they're, they're going to let this go. The acting like party, the acting like party will be quick, you know, the deal will be quick. What if Liverpool act, just, this is our firm puzzle, Liverpool act tomorrow put a 40 million, 40, 50, I'm not saying we're going to pay 50, just say, for example, we put a 50 million pound bid on the table, done. Then you realise there's no love here. This is a possible scenario. And Arsenal are taking a big risk by this rice, waiting for the rice deal. Why not just go both? Why not just go for Lavia as well? Like, I think, look, I think he'll go Liverpool. I think I'm pretty confident of that. I think he wants Liverpool. Yeah. I think Liverpool want Lavia. And... I don't know where FSG have got the money from. Uh, it's just somehow they've got the checkbook out. And I know it's today's market, but obviously Sultanton asking for 50 million. 50 million. I think you're for you. I, I think for, there's, a difference, there's a difference between the asking price and what you actually can get for. The asking price is always going to be high. Like you saw Mason Mount, 80 million. There was no way they would put 80 million. That's just the starting price. I think we get, and our relationship with Southampton is good as well. So I think we can. Always has that. been good. You always get it, you know. And um, the players that always come for, from Southampton yeah. always seems to do well at Liverpool. So, yeah, I think this is a good signing. And look, it's will we win the league? I don't know. But the way we're going, I think we're going to challenge. I think get me Lavia, Tor- I mean, let get me Lavia, Shabosh, and Kalis is done. I will take that mission with it now. Oh, Just before me- ending this video, I'm going to tell you right now, as a neutral fan, yeah, I'm excited. And I would like to see him play in a vicious four big club. And for me, when I say big club, Liverpool, not Arsenal, because Arsenal is not a big club. Sorry, Arsenal. Awesome, um, sorry, we have to do that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, look, this kid is, is special. There's a lot of talent on this kid. And like you said, I play in here for easily for the next 10 years. He's only 19. And. He's special. He is and very, the, very, very good. He impressed me so much last season. <laughs> well, I would say though, the net, if we if if he's our full time DM, that's where he gets a bit issue because I I think he's quality, but I'm not denying that. I just don't think he needs a bit of experience, and I I doesn't mean he's good. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean he's not good, but I just don't think he should be a starting DM. I think he should be competition for Fabinho and cover. So. Play him in the Europa League games because I think Europa League groups are just actually awful. We can just rotate in that. So I, I think if he's our starting DM, that's I have a problem. I really have a problem with that one. Yeah, and it, his style of football as well. You know, his his main position I think is Liverpool more defensive I, midfielder, but I, he can Arsenal, easily move forward as a centre yeah. mid. And Arsenal, I, I think you have a less chance of getting an Arsenal than Liverpool because Arsenal, Declan Rice has gone there. That's pretty much uh, done. Um, you got um, of course Timber, who could be a midfielder. There's a chance they have they have a they could go for another midfielder, which they are. So you're not going to get in the Arsenal team that quickly. I mean, Declan Rice is you're not going to get him in Declan Rice. They'll probably sign another midfielder that's world class. So mm. look, it it's going to be hard. I think you're going to get in the Liverpool side more more chance of getting Liverpool than Arsenal because 
well, our depth is mad, but on, on but like you can get part. I think he has a chance of being Fabinho, definitely. I think he can be Fabinho to the end spot. But it's exciting now. This window for Liverpool has turned exciting. Like we're getting a link with very good players. It's the right players we need. But yeah, I'm I'm hoping that we get this over the line because I think this deal, honestly, if you ask me when this deal could be done, I think by next week probably we're gonna see a here we go. But then on Friday around, I think we could see like a advanced talk with Liverpool or Arsenal. That's where I think with he's if 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 he's advanced with Liverpool, I think we're getting him. If he's advanced with Arsenal, we're getting him. Arsenal getting him. So yeah. yeah, I think we're gonna learn about the Lavia situation. I think the next two days will nothing will happen. The, then after that, I think we're gonna see a lot more updates on uh, Lavia because honestly, I think we're gonna agree personal terms real quick. Oh. By the two days and now, I think we, the here we go after by next week. Because I don't think here we go next yeah. week. But it's going to be know. a big week this week. A lot, a lot, a lot transfer yeah. will it's happen. Busy. This week. could be going this week potentially. Mm. Lavia, yeah, uh, Toram as well. That Toram, what I would say about Toram before we end this video is I wouldn't write that off one. I would run. I wouldn't write that one off. But I would just say now, Toram to Liverpool seems more. More less less likely to happen than Lavia to Liverpool, and that's what I would say about that. Mm. I think that room has really died down. It's it's really died down as well. And Kone links have died down. Gravenberg links have died down. So I think we know our targets, and if we get him, I think we get him. I think we're gonna get Lavia, and potentially a centre back. I hope we get centre back because we definitely need one as well. But yeah, but I'm glad we're getting. I hope we get Lavia, man. He'll be quality signing if we can get him in there. So yeah, that's everything from this video. Don't forget, as always, if you enjoy, I know you do, smash the like, new to the channel, Except please, Arsenal fans. subscribe. Sorry, we, did, we didn't mean to, uh, you know. And you. Um, we will see you on the next video. God bless you all. Thank you.